What's up everybody? Today I wanted to talk to you about the Intel Compute Stick. Now what the stick is, is actually a computer in itself the size of your palm. And uh, the reason why I wanted to talk to you about this was because I have created a um, build for a mobile laptop in using this as the processing core and the main computer function. And the most important part about all of this is that everything is currently running on battery. Now a laptop does the same thing, but for this compute stick, what's important is that even though it's running on battery, at any time that I run out of battery, I could just switch a battery bank versus recharging a laptop. Or plugging it in and uh, secondly these batteries are using 5 volt and the output and the input is about the input is about 1 amp and the output is about 2.1 amps so what I'm trying to say is that 2.1 amps is enough to run this Intel compute stick uh, even though the wall unit is 5 volt 3 amps that comes standard with this. I do recommend a higher uh, amperage battery uh, just in case the Intel compute stick decides to pull more power because if that happens and you don't have enough amps then the unit will shut off. So secondly I also want to talk to you about how I uh, used all these components together to form in a sense a mobile laptop. and. One component would be the keyboard and mouse, which is a Logitech. This Logitech keyboard and mouse only requires one USB dongle to use for both a keyboard and a mouse. And then secondly, I wanted to talk to you about um, the fact that this is currently being powered by this power bank, which is a 10,000 milliamp hour battery bank. And what we have here is actually an adapter. And this adapts so that my unit right here, which is a portable monitor, can use this uh, PC stick. Because if it didn't have that, um, it wouldn't connect. So what you need is a female to female adapter and that's what this piece is. And so once all connected you actually have a laptop and what's important about this is that this monitor itself has a battery bank and also allows other battery banks to charge it. So this can be charged by a battery bank. This can be charged by a battery bank. And so everything here can be used uh, by a battery bank. And that's very important because if you want to harness solar power, then the battery banks uh, need to be efficient and useful in that manner. So let me show you some of the specs of this uh, Intel Compute Stick. It's running a quad-core Intel Atom X5 Z8 300 processor. It's a 2GB, 32GB EMMC storage. It has Bluetooth, it has HDMI, and it has USB 2.0, 3.0, and Windows 10. Now some of the versions that you can see are, are a little bit different slightly, but the version that I have is the STK1AW32SC. So let me also show you the settings. Now this is a Windows 10 Home, it's a 32-bit operating system. It's an Intel Atom, 1.4 GHz. And then let me also show you how well they can play a video. What's up, 
right and so we're just gonna click some other videos So as you can see, everything's working fine. Um, this computer is running videos and it can run stuff like Netflix. So let me open up Netflix for you. And so what I also wanted to talk about was that um, there are actually two USB ports here. So one you would use to plug in a mouse and a keyboard or you could use the Bluetooth option but you can also use the second port right here as an external USB. So if you have like a huge hard drive or whatnot and it has power going through it and uh, you can plug this in and run the hard drive or the flash drive then on the other side we have a micro USB um, I'm sorry a micro SD slot and so you can eject the micro SD and you could hot swap it with something else so this gives it additional memory then you have this for the lanyards so that you can actually put like some sort of string or whatever through it and then you can have it with you And so these are the actual specs. of the compute stick. And so you can see that it does want a 5 volt 3 amp battery, but lower amp batteries will work. It's just a matter of when it actually uh, tries to do something and perform tasks that require more uh, power, then the unit might shut off if you have a lower amperage battery. Other than that, it should be fine. So with all that said, I feel like this is a very powerful unit, especially in the fact that it's the size of your palm and it's a full computer. You can do so many things with it and um, the usefulness of just connecting this to maybe a TV or something else and then having a keyboard and mouse just directly powered through uh, makes it much more convenient than um, a lot of other devices such as uh, media boxes because they still tend to want to use controls and stuff but in reality um, controllers are getting obsolete I mean people are using their um, cell phones to do most of their tasks if they're not using cell phones they're using PCs so to have a remote control lying around is just one more thing to have around the house that you don't really need um, Besides that, I do want to let you guys know that uh, all these devices currently are being powered by solar in which the solar panels can generate power for the 5 volt batteries and these 5 volt batteries are powering all these other units to work. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up.
if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. That's Poem Tech on YouTube. This is the channel name. And thank you so much for watching.